Big appeal, big appeal. Third umpire is called upon. Pakistanis seem very, very confident. Spun away, Simmons looked as if he lost his balance. Let's see if he did. Something wrong with the delivery. Let's see what happens at the other end. It's forward. Is some part of that toe behind the line. We'll have to wait and see. Let's have another look. Well, that's a very close one. And I'm going to leave Tony Cozy and Ian Bishop. Certainly the bats one was you know, beaten, lunging forward. Now the question is, was any part of that toe behind the crease? Well, we'll soon know. Nigel Long is looking. Soon to come, anxious look from uh, Lendl Simmons, and the red uh, light goes on, gives him out on the replay. Nigel Long reckons that uh, that toe was not behind the front crease, and celebrations for those who are supporting Pakistan. Swift piece of stumping by Umar Atmal in the West Indies, 41 for four, really going nowhere. Out leg before press ball. Now, Freddie strikes with his 350th one day international wicket. And Dwayne Bravo, who's had a rough time with both bat and ball of late, is out first ball. It's an Afridi special as well. It's, it's quicker and it just slides straight on to Dwayne Bravo. And we saw the previous one that went past the outside edge of Lendell Simmons. It's two and two for Afridi. He's had a very good day so far. Runs and wickets. No runs for Bravo. 41 for five. It's in the air and straight in. So Pollard hits it straight down to long off. And his uh, horror run continues. Mohamed Riaz just waiting for the ball to come to him. Here it is. It was just a matter of time. He was itching to get going to try to hit his way out of the slump that he's been in. But it's going to be very difficult against Afridi, given the way that he's been bowling. He's been excellent in everything he's done today, Afridi. Pollard goes for three, 50 for six. Really now is uh, fifth over. <laughs> Given leg before. Onto the from the pad onto the bat. Umpire Alpha had a good look. Another wicket for Shahid Afridi. Causing mayhem here. West Indies now 51 for seven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Marlon Samuels looked around after the decision was given, but it's certainly pad first on to bat. And it looked pretty adjacent too. That's another quicker one from a pretty. 25 to Samuels is now 51 for seven. Catch it! Gone, that's his fifth. Shied up pretty. Five for six. Magnificent figures and what a grand comeback. Brilliant with the bat and now showing his talent with the ball. This is awesome stuff from Afridi. Cut this one up on the stumps and got Roach to try and undrive it. Came against the spin, just hits it straight back to the bowler. And Afridi has five. Roach goes for one, and the West Indies out of it now at 55 for eight. Was the captain? Catch it! and simple absolutely simple so that's his sixth wicket his career best smiles all over our pretty space and uh, well a simple way to get out for narayan who played pretty well easy as you please six wickets for shahid afridi and uh, it's almost too easy we're relaxing for a bit so narayan capitalized but now he's gone for 14, 98 for 9. Oh! 
and that's the end of it. Seven wickets for Freddie. Just on the back foot, had no clue about it. The ball coming into him, and Afridi got seven wickets to follow his unbeaten correction, his 76, which uh, helped Pakistan to recover from their early problems against the West Indies. And now, backing that up with a seven wicket haul, second best figures for him in uh, one day cricket no question about that much too late on the shot on the back foot and uh, engulfed by jubilant